Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're going to talk about using the lattice method for multiplication. This is just a different way of doing multi-digit multiplication, so let's take a look. So let's say we're multiplying 215 times 32. This is how the lattice method works. You have to get it set up right, and then, then you just go. It's pretty easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box, basically. And I'm going to put my 215 at the top here. And then I'm going to put my 32 down the side, like that. Now, I need one column for each of the digits I have up here. So I've got now a column here, here, and here. And same thing here. I need a row for the 3 and a row for the 2. So I'll draw a line there. Now, in each of these little boxes, I'm going to draw a diagonal. Okay. Now, the way this works is that in each one of these little boxes, this position is the ones and this position is the tens. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply each one of these numbers by each one of these numbers and fill the value into the box. So, here we go. 5 times 2 is 10. So, this is my tens digit and that's my ones digit. 5 times 3 is 15. So, I put my tens digit there and my ones digit there. 1 times 3 is 3. I don't have anything in the tens position, so I'm going to put a placeholder, a 0. And I'm going to put my 3 down here. 1 times 2 is 2, so same thing. I put a 0 here and a 2 there. 2 times 3 is 6. 0 for my tens position, a 6 in my ones position. And 2 times 2 is 4. A 0 there and a 4 there. Now, you add along all the diagonals to find out your answer. So, here we just have a 0. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 0 is still just 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 0 plus 6 is 6. 6 plus 0 is still just 6. And I don't have anything up here, I just have a 0. So after we do this addition, it gives us our answer. 6,880. So, 215 times 32 is 6,880. Now, this is different than the common algorithm for multiplication, but you'll always get the same answer no matter which one you do. So, give it a try and see. You might find it easier. And that's how you do the lattice method for multiplication. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want to know more about any of the topics we discussed, click on the links. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.